Hi there, my name is Angus and I'm from C2 Communications. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the 3CX web client. In order to log on to the web client, you're going to need a welcome email. If you don't have a welcome email, go to the three blue dots and click resend credentials. Now that you have the welcome email, you can see the web link there. You'll also see your username and your password. Click the web link to open it up. This will now take you to a login screen. Put in your extension number and your password, and then voila, we are now in the 3CX web client. Now that we're in the web client, we can call people like this. We can also chat to extensions like this. Now let's have a look at the switchboard. Here, just like on our 3CX soft phone, we can see who is on a call, who they're calling, and how long they've been on the call for. Pretty cool, hey? Now let's have a look at the wallboard. Here, we can see the average talk time, how many calls we've answered, and also the average wait time. Now let's take a look at the call history page. In here, we can see all of our outgoing calls and all incoming calls. If we need to, we can also make a call from here by just clicking this button. There's even a contacts page if you'd like to make an external call, or you can dial the number in the top right corner. So as you can see, there are a lot of things you can do on the web client. You can even go to settings and change your call forwarding options, your switchboard options, or you can click scan QR code for the mobile app. There's so many things on here that you can do. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening. I hope it was insightful. I look forward to speaking to you soon.